today I'm doing the seven deadly sins of reading tag, so let's do this. Hi everybody, it's Lydia here. So this tag was created by Meliza at Bookishly Meliza and it's pretty simple. It's just seven questions based around the seven deadly sins. It was an, originally a beauty tag, I think, and Meliza redid it for books. So yeah, pretty simple. Let's do this. Question number one. Is Greed the least expensive book you've ever bought? And for me, I'm going to say The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. Now, I tend to go for deals when I'm buying books, obviously, unless they're new. And so I buy a lot from Amazon Marketplace, and they're normally only the cost of postage a lot of the time. So I do have quite a lot of books that are probably about the same price as this one was. So I just picked this one out of it. This one I think I've mentioned before, in fact I think it was on my November TBR, possibly. Anyway, this book is about a girl named Kate and she, her mother is ill and she meets this guy called Henry who claims to be the god of the underworld, Hades, and he agrees to let her do seven <coughs> excuse me, tasks in order to help save her mother's life. And of course there are other tricks involved and all that jazz, so yeah, that was probably my least expensive book. Question number two is Wrath. What author do you have a love-hate relationship with? And I am going to go for Cecilia O'Hearn. I haven't read any of her books for a number of years now, but when I was younger I used to read a lot of them. And the reason I have a love-hate relationship is A, her books are really sweet and I did used to love them. They're, you know, they're just, well, this isn't the most happy of books, but they're, they're alright, they're just quite, you know comforting I guess um, but they're very I think they've tailed off a lot and it's one of the reasons why I stopped reading her books um, they became a bit silly and weird and whereas when she started writing her books were just based around kind of contemporary real life situations as she wrote more and more they got a bit strange and more fantastical and it was kind of it was like she was trying to keep them real but add in a fantastical element and it just it just didn't work for me so I don't know whether I hate her as a result of that that's a bit harsh but I certainly have a bit of a um our relationship with her dear yeah. on to question three which is gluttony what book have you deliciously devoured over and over again and I'm gonna go for the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling I used to, I haven't read it in a while to be honest, but I used to read this all the time just because it's so easy to read, it's fun, it's light, it's complete and utter escapism and yeah, that's all I look for when I just want a book just to devour quickly and I can devour these in, you know, a day, so yep. Question four, is Sloth, what book have you neglected to read due to laziness? And I'm going to go for Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I started reading this a number of years ago and because it is so huge I haven't finished it yet. Um, I love the story and um, I love the the musical and the whole plot behind it is great um, but it's so slow and it just like if you've read this book you know what I mean when I say it just takes a long time to get going there is a whole chunk at the beginning which <sighs> nothing much happens but it's just really really dull and I know once I get through that I will be absolutely fine and want to read it and keep going but it's getting through that first bit and I just <laughs> I'm just really lazy and can't be bothered so yeah moving on question five is pride what book do you most talk about in order to sound like an intellectual reader and for this one i don't have a specific book i think in general i'm just you know fairly okay with what i read i enjoy reading it and if people don't think it's intellectual then screw them <laughs> but you know i'm absolutely fine with what i read i guess i mean i talk about shakespeare a lot but then i like shakespeare so that's why I talk about it a lot, it's not to sound intellectual, so yeah, I guess that, but yeah. Next question. Question six is last, what attributes do you find most attractive in male and female characters? For males, 
it varies a lot. I just like nice guys. I hate books that have where the supposed um, romantic whatever, I can't think of the word right now, <laughs> um, where the guy is really evil and mean and you're only meant to like him because there's this evil guy who is like, okay, I go on, I go on about this a lot, but the Darkling in the Grisha series. I know everyone goes on about how they love him and all that jazz. I hate him. I really hate him and he's such a, a not a nice person and uh, so that's my least favourite type of attribute. I just really like, I think, respectable guys who, who appreciate when their partner has their own thoughts and feelings. I hate guys who are just overpowering, that is that is just, um, I don't like that attribute in a character. In females, um, I just like them to have their own sense of worth and respect about themselves and I just want all characters to be like properly developed. If you have two characters who are like properly developed and respect each other then that's great. I will be all for their relationship and be all yay and happy and brilliant but if one of them is not then throw them out the window, don't like them. And question number seven, Envy, what book would you like to receive as a gift and I am actually going to do a whole video about this in a week or so for Christmas um, so I'm not going to really talk about it too much. I guess I'm going to mention House of Leaves by Mark can't remember his surname. When I was looking for books after I'd finished S that were like it, that was the only one that sounded anywhere close to it, but it's really expensive and I can't afford it, so that is definitely going on my Christmas list and gonna be the number one present this year, I think. <laughs> so that is it for today's tag. I am going to tag Michael at Bitten by a Radioactive Book and Hannah at Booknut. Go do it guys, um, if you haven't done it. I'm really bad, I know I keep tagging people who've already done these tags and I just, I just am really bad at checking to see if people have done them so I'm sorry if you've already been tagged, you don't have to do it again. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for another Top 5 Wednesday and until then, bye!